Hey Ronzef here, welcome to Snapstick Overview. Every once in a while we have a game with a concept that really just stands out on the store. And this one is one of them primarily because the concept is relatively straightforward. Its ambience and comedy make up for a rather unusual experience. So Snapstick is a narrative puzzle game where Get ready to encounter a non-stop variety show of mechanics, solving problems and making friends along the way, proving to yourself that you also have a heart. Overall this project is rather wild, meaning you don't really know what's gonna happen next, which is a nice change of pace in comparison to scripted and predictable concepts happening nowadays on the platform. This game keeps it rather tight and simple in terms of the art style and the whole puzzle presentation, like it's very easy to figure out what's going on. There might be some deeper mechanics here and there, though you're not gonna spend like 5 or 10 minutes over one solution. And with that dynamic, you don't really pay attention to the time passing by and you just keep playing it because the entertainment is constantly feeding you. At the end of the day, it's nothing suitable for the playthrough, like it's a series of small minigame type puzzles that change a little bit in between, but still stays in one theme and then after a while it changes drastically the ambience. So in general, it's cute, polished, well executed and everything is just taken care of, ready to enjoy. Let's go to the gameplay. Well, that's just jumping straight in. I'm going by my intuition. It is like a very smart way of doing the tutorial and stuff. Yeah, it also works in the mall. I mean, I don't think the environment will get as complicated, so we'll play a couple and then might switch. What is this? A dumbbell? What if we don't, like, align the lines? It goes either way. It's just a guidance that you need to put something there. Who's pouring coffee? That's a megaphone. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be any different. Just have some virtual table going on. I mean, it's not completely covering my camera, so... But I appreciate that it's very smooth. There's no real guidance to solving puzzles, you just go by what you think will work. Huh? <laughs> what the hell is this?
A Mr. Toilet? Oh, what the? Ooh, hey there, hot stuff. Say, do you know anybody who's looking for a friend? I think it'd be super cool to have a friend. And, uh, full transparency here, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be my entire character arc. Am I really that one-dimensional? The only thing that I want is a friend? Actually, oh yeah, yeah, 100%, 100% absolutely all I want is a friend. Ooh, I cannot wait. Oh, and I'm an optimistic toilet. I'm a bowl half full kind of guy, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a friend very, very soon. I cannot wait is gonna be awesome. <laughs> hey, can you do me a big favor? Can you make me two friendship bracelets? One is gonna be for me, and the other one is gonna be for my new best friend. I don't know who they are yet, but when I meet them, <laughs> I'll have two handmade friendship bracelets ready. That's gonna be a pretty cool surprise. Oh, I hope they like it. I really do. Can you stop for a second? Oh, these are beautiful. Really, thank you. I cannot wait to sh- yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. I mean, I suppose that's the point of puzzles. Initially, you have no idea what's gonna be. Oh! And I can't switch on MR. That's a bit different. No, not to him. I got good news! I just met someone! We're gonna go see a movie, and they're picking me up uh, right now, actually. <laughs> Don't worry, I got my friendship bracelets ready. I'll see you soon, okay? I'm gonna go make a friend. Wish me luck! A <laughs> nice puzzle. <laughs> Are there some story arcs or something? This is so random. It's just kind of logic game. But it does make sense, so... I'm not mad. It is a series of small mini games, but... The time just kind of goes by. It needs like a jump. Still with this ball.
I'm not totally sure if I would be asking more from this concept cause it's fine as it is if you're searching for what's the phrase toilet puzzles or something along those lines to pass the time brainlessly I mean there's still some thought process going on so but you just kinda go with it <laughs> what the? Oh hey, uh, the friendship date was uh, was terrible. When I showed them the friendship bracelets, they they laughed at me. I don't feel so good. Um, do you, did you maybe want to play some more puzzles together? Oh. <laughs> okay, fine. Jesus. Wait, really? All right. Okay, I got some real original stuff. I think you're really gonna enjoy. Okay, let's go. Lasers! That is a mechanic you don't see in games too often. Or basically ever. I don't think I've ever seen a game with, uh, with lasers in it before, so... That's pretty original. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, lasers. That's a, that's a mechanic you don't really see in games, you know? I suppose there are sections that specialize in certain puzzles. Why is my movement like that? Well, uh, I guess there is Portal 2. That does, uh, yeah, that does use lasers. That's like a main mechanic, right? With the cubes. Use the cubes and lasers with, uh, in Portal 2. Yeah, that, that one does have lasers. I wouldn't know, I didn't play. Which is a heresy in gaming. Well, I guess Wind Waker, you know, from 2002, GameCube. A, the Wind Temple in the Wind Waker has, a, yeah, it's got those mirrors with the lights, the beams of light. That's, uh, that's pretty similar. I guess, I guess that game, I guess that game counts as a game with lasers. Good to know. No commentary? Ah, I need to use them anyways. Well, I guess also Tears of the Kingdom, you know, the 2023 Zelda game, it's got the uh, light cast island. With the, with the mirrors and the redirecting of the beams. So if you go to, you know, North Tabantha Sky Archipelago in the western portion of the Sky World, you can, you can, find, uh, you can find pretty similar laser puzzles with the redirecting. I didn't play that either. Well, actually, now that I think about it, there's also the Talos Principle. Right? You know? And Laser Maze. Laser Maze. Laser Chess. Light Matter. Yeah, quantum Conundrum. Anti-Chamber. The Turing Test. Cube 2. Uh, some puzzles in the room series, laser attraction, fract OSC, laser puzzle, aurora, archaica, the path of light, lumen, laser life, laser dance, luxor evolved, warp shift, ket 2.0, lumut, laser bounce puzzle, laser race, laser reflection, laser box, laser tank, laser Stop. paint. <laughs> I guess my controller is just what too tired. Laser break, laser break 2, laser overload, electric touch. Laser Brick 3, Laser Nodes, Lasers, and Refractions with a K. But aside from all those games, you know, this is this is original stuff. You really can't find anything on the market in the games market with, you know, redirecting beams of light with mirrors. So, yeah, I think we can give ourselves uh, points for originality here. Congrats. A blue one. And to introduce new mechanics here. Is there any difference or is it just color scheme? Well, 
Okay. <laughs> Because it needs to be reflected in this direction, I think, right? Or from behind. The difficulty level is rather decent. What's happening here? So it's not like you spent 10 minutes thinking about one puzzle. They said there are 500, so... I'm definitely not looking forward to playing that many. <laughs> Back to you? Why? <laughs> oh. It's gonna be jumpy now. I mean, at the end, I feel like I get it. In total, this is very cute. It's like this level of puzzles that you'd want to chill with while solving without really boggling your mind over the solution. As simple as it is, the execution is rather flawless. There's comedy, narration and all across the board solid stuff. MR, hand tracking. It's kinda just jack of all trades. Of course, it's nothing suitable for the channel, but I do appreciate that the polish is kept, concept is precise, and everything is just well executed. That deserves an applause, regardless of the vision.